Hello, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to create custom presets for a set of Corsa in the Apex Rivals Companion application. First, let's open the presets folder, go in New Career, and click on the Open Presets button. Go in the AC folder. It's important to not modify the default presets, any changes you make could be overwritten. Instead, copy one of the presets and work from there. Now go inside the folder. Here, you have multiple files and folders. You have cars, tracks and tiers folders, as well as a settings.json and a description text file. The description file is just a description of how the preset will work. It will show up in the box next to the preset selection. Let's take a look at the cars folder. In here, you will see a bunch of text files. These are the different car classes. These are CSV files, they have values separated by a comma. The first value is the cars folder path. In content manager, you can click on folder to get the folder path. Simply copy this in the file to add this car to the class. Here's a fun tip, if you have a car that has an oval configuration, you can separate the two with a forward slash. And whenever an oval track comes up, it will be raced in the oval trim. The second value is the headlights. One means that the car has headlights and can be raced at night. Zero means the car can only race during daytime. You can add or remove any car you like to a class this way. To create a new class, simply create a new text file and add the desired cars to it. There will be another step required later in the tiers database to add the class to your career. We'll get there later. If you want to remove a class entirely, you can delete the text file, but you also need to modify the tiers database. Now let's take a look at the tracks. The text files you see here are the different track grades. The grades represent the quality of the track and will be used to decide what types of cars can race on it. We'll get back to this later. These files are also separated by commas. The first entry is the track's environment. The second is the track's code. Make sure to include the layout folder as well. The third columns is the continent the track is on. Then we have the country, and then the era. Now we have the lap time in seconds. Just use a rough estimate and use a round number, no decimals. The last value is the number of cars you can have on track. You can get this number from Content Manager. That's all you need to know about the cars and tracks files. The settings.json file and the tiers database file go hand in hand and will decide how the entire preset will behave. You will need a database browser to be able to open and modify the database easily. I will put a link in the description to a free application. Once the database browser is open, click on Open Database. Select the tiers database file to open it. Now click on Browse Data to look at the contents of the database. Let's go through the columns one by one. The first column, named Tier, decides what tier these cars will show up in. Unique name, like it says, has to be a unique value. I recommend using a name that clearly indicates what the class is, since this will likely be used to generate error messages. The game name value is what will show up in the application, and will tell the player what class to pick. Make sure it clearly indicates which class it is. The code value has to be the exact same as the name of the text file we saw earlier. The type column is to indicate what type of cars are being driven. This will be used when the player selects a filter by type option. You can make up your own types if you want, you can type anything you like. The family column indicates the family of cars this class belongs to. This will be used not just with the filter by family option but in a multitudes of areas. 
again, you can set whatever value you want as a family. The race series value will be the league in which this car class will race. This will be used for multi-class races. This car class will only be able to multi-class with other classes that are part of the same race series. Again, you can set any name you like. Multi-class odds is the percent chance of another class being added whenever this class is entered in a race. Setting it to 100 means that this car class will always be in a multi-class race. Zero means it will never multi-class. Scope is how large the race series is globally. Setting it to 1 means it's local, and will happen within a single country. Setting it to 2 means it's continental. And setting it to 3 means it's global. Keep in mind that as of the making of this video, this feature is not implemented yet, but is intended for future use. Practice length, quality length, and race length are the length of each session in minutes. The following columns, F1, GT, Touring and so on, are the different track grades this class will be allowed to race on, and the odds of each grade being used. The extra entries are to be used however you like, you can get creative with them. The odds are not percentage based, you can use any numbers you like. For example, setting F1 to 50, GT to 25, and Touring to 25 will give the same result as setting F1 to 2, GT to 1, and Touring to 1. If you want to remove a car class from the career, simply select it, and click on the red button, delete the current record, and this class will never appear in your career. If you want to create a new entry, click on the green button, insert a new record in the current table, and then fill out the data. If you have made any changes to the database, make sure to click on Write Changes to Save. That's everything for the Tiers database. Now let's take a look at the settings.json file. Let's open the settings file in Notepad. The retirement value is the number of years after which a driver is forced to retire. This applies to you too. You can set this to any round number, no decimals, the multi-class mod value will change the odds of extra classes being added to a multi-class. A value of 2 means that each time a class is added, the odds of having an extra class added, are divided by 2. Let's do an example. Let's pretend we have 3 classes. Class 1 has a multi-class value of 100. Class 2 has a multi-class value of 50. Class 3 has a multi-class value of 100. When class 1 gets selected to race, it will have a 100% chance of having a second class added. When class 2 gets added, there will be a 50% chance of having a third class added. However, since multi-class odds is set to 2, we divide the odds by 2, since this is now the second class so it gets 25% chance of having a third class. Class 3 has 100% odds, but we now divide the odds by 2 again, so we get 25% odds again. Changing the multi-class odds value to 3, means you will divide by 3 each time a new class is added. Setting it to 1 means there will be no fall off, the odds will remain the same no matter how many classes there are. You can use decimal values if you like, but the minimum value is 1. Then we have the tiers. The tier number has to be in descending order, so tier 1 goes on top. The divisions value is the number of divisions this tier will have by default. This will be used in the preset defined option. The seasons value will decide how many seasons there are in a year. There are only 5 possible values for this. 1, 2, 4, 12, and 48. A value of 1 means you will have a single season that will last an entire year. A value of 2 means you will have 2 seasons lasting 6 months each. 
A value of 4 means you will have 4 seasons lasting 3 months each. A value of 12 means you will have 12 seasons lasting 1 month each. And a value of 48 means you will have single races happening all year round. I recommend using 48 only for the newcomer tier. The races value will decide how many races each season has. Make sure to never put more races than there are weeks in a season. If you have one season you can have a maximum of 48 races. If you have two seasons you can have a maximum of 24 races. If you have four seasons you can have a maximum of 12 races. If you have 12 seasons, you can have a maximum of 4 races. And if you have 48 seasons, you can have a maximum of only 1 race per season. Keep in mind that each month has 4 weeks, so there are 48 weeks in a year, not 52. The title value is the title each driver will earn when they join that tier for the first time. This concludes the modding tutorial for Assetto Corsa. If you have any other questions on modding, leave them in the comments, or join the Discord. Enjoy the racing!